<laughs> so Cindy Beale is back. Don't mind Piggy giggling in the background. He just farted on himself. Lovely stuff. Uh, Cindy <laughs> Beale is back. Peter Beale is back. As Thomas Law, Ian's back, and Lauren are back. All have returned in the Thursday, the 22nd edition of 2023, and it was an absolute banger episode, Piggy. Don't you think? It was a banger episode. Um, so what happened? Uh, if you want to see what happened, honestly, just go watch the podcast. We did a pretty, uh, a pretty long-winded and detailed review of everything that happened. But regardless, we set up a lot, of, a lot of key storylines for the future. We set up a potential uh, reconnection or like uh, rekindling of Lauren and Peter's relationship. Uh, they spent the episode mostly together, but then it also kind of unfolded as we then learned that obviously, yes, Cindy has been under witness protection for the last like 20, 25 odd years. Um, but now that the people who would have pursued her are dead. So she Boring is safe now. now. Or they're in like wheelchairs, they're too old and yeah, probably like, wouldn't be worth it. She is safe and she can just she can now she no longer has to be Rose, she can be Cindy Beale again. Um uh, notice that she is still Cindy Beale, because honestly, even if she was Rose something, she she's not she, she definitely couldn't have legally changed her name. Uh but now, you know, she she could go back to Walford if she wanted to. And Ian mentions this. Ian says, you know, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time we go back home. And she's like, oh, I don't know about that. I'm not really too sure. But then Ian has a heart attack. Um, and maybe that's not the best idea to have a cheeky heart attack on. Yeah, that's probably not the best idea, Ian. Maybe you should. He did get in shape, but he clearly got back out of shape after the divorce went. Uh, but regardless, um, and this essentially unfolds. Lauren finds out that Cindy's alive, and we got a big like payoff, a big emotional like. You, how did you not come back after Cin after Lucy died? How did you not? Your daughter died, and you weren't there. You could have spent you could have spent time with her. Like, what did you actually gain from being in witness protection? But you know, she like kind of goes yeah but if i was there people would have been hurt you know like i couldn't have done that to any of my family um and i suppose just kind of keep this one fairly short um we then learn that also cindy probably does have feelings for george so you know your thoughts please. yeah um obviously we also um um we also sorry i was just laughing at video because a guy said that this his mate's dog died in a house fire when he was a child and in high school they called him hot dog I don't, know why, I don't know why that was funny to me but um, <laughs> um sailing away from that um, it was fun it was a, uh, like it is fun to see the seeds they're planting because if this was previous East End writers it would be Cindy you're back okay what am I doing what do you mean, what are you doing? You're Cindy B, you'll figure out yourself. Well, the thing is, you have to write me for us. I can't just be Cindy B. Shut up. You're Cindy B, so be Cindy B. But I love how the new writers are like, okay, you're Cindy B, so point A will go here, then we'll go to point B, then point C. We'll figure out the rest point, the other points, at like a later day. But here are the main three points that you will be doing. Yeah, and they truly, uh, they definitely mapped out, like, a path, you know. They've mapped out all different storylines for each person and each character. So, it's still, like, exciting to witness as, you know, you can tell that, like, they, it's, they haven't just not thought out the plan. They, like, you know, they know what's happening at Christmas. Like, they, they know what they want to do, um... Basically, they, they've planned ahead. They've set the seeds already. You know, we get to see when Cindy inevitably comes back. We get to see what's going on. We get to see, oh, shit, fucking Cindy's back. And she's on the square now. She has to, like, meet Bill again. She has to meet George. She can be a part of her daughter's lives. They've set up so much stuff that's going to pay off at some point. And we just had the pleasure of witnessing it, like, firsthand. 
Mm -hmm. um, notable things, uh, obviously Thomas Law coming back as Peter. Uh, probably arguably one of the better Peters. Um, and people are going to be loving it. Uh, everybody loves when the classic EastEnders actor comes back. Um, and most people do just hate recasts in general. But if you recast the person to the original actor, fuck man, that's incredible. Like, we take that for sure. Um, setting up some more seeds of maybe them coming back to the square. And just generally improving the Beale family. Uh, because now, you know, Bobby's not alone. You know, now Ian's back. And Ian's probably going to be a good dad to Bobby. Not like the not the terrible dad he was when he came back in 2019, you know. Like, we are safe. We are in good hands with the Wrighton team. And fundamentally, it's an exciting time to be an EastEnders fan. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, honestly, if you want most of our thoughts, you can genuinely just go to the podcast. It's going to be released on Sunday, as we did have a lot to say about it there. But uh, I'll be honest, lads, the tank is rather dry. Just know that it's a very good guess. time to be an EastEnders fan. It is, and... Um... I said most of the things I said on the podcast, but again, just to reiterate what I said, for people who don't know, yeah, we filmed, we filmed two parts of the podcast. We just filmed the second part after we finished the episode, so we didn't give all our thoughts on this episode. So, um, basically, to recap what I said, the multiple storylines that can go in, you can have George leave Elaine if you want to, and... Um, or you could have George leave a lane and then bring in Mick Carter in 2025. Who would want that? Um, my worst nightmare. Um, I, I, I'd have it. I don't. I don't. I don't want to listen to that cockney cunt. Another word. You um, hate. <laughs> we're never getting monetized. Um. All right. What else happened? It's fun. It's hard to describe it now. <laughs> we, it, it was we can all tell that the tank's dry. Um, yeah. Let's just it somewhat... Really fun. It was a great episode. Probably one of the best episodes of the year so far. If you, wanna, if you want EastEnders and you want EastEnders when it's good, watch this episode. It set up so many like good things for the future. Cindy mm. still likes George still loves George rather you know how strong is her relationship with Ian you know all these things that have been teased Ian wants to come back to the square does Cindy yes and no and now the door's open so let's imagine forward she will probably come back they'll all probably come back at the wedding um and it'll be like oh shit Ian Cindy and then Bobby's going to be like, that? And, you know, then that's probably going to be the duff duff. Uh, so, yeah, I suppose just going to keep this short and sweet. Cindy Beale is back, as are Ian, Peter, Lauren, and Louis, the kid. And it's all very exciting and pretty promising. Uh, this is what the show needs to ramp it up even more and keep everybody invested in this kind of little lull during the summertime because we had the 38th anniversary episode we had that it was kind of fun it was exciting it's teased something in the future but it's still kind of working back in the like working back a little bit we had Lola's death that's exciting but it's also quite sad now Ian's back and it's just about to get really fucking good so uh, yeah yeah cool. Apparently, apparently he's staying on the square. Who? Peter Obeam. Lovely. That's exactly what if we I need to see. I can read out the post. I'll read out the post. I'll just read out the entire thing if you don't mind. Do it. Peter Beale is set to return to in less than a year after his departure. But former star Thomas Law reprising his role. Peter was last seen in July last year when he left the square in a heated scene after turning his back on his family with things are very raw between he and brother Bobby, who's keen to reconnect with it. Since then, he's been living in France with his dad Ian and his friend's mom Cindy, who has thought to have died in prison when he was just a baby. Discussing his long awaited comeback as Peter, 
Actor Thomas Law said, Over the years I had hoped for a return to Square, although I never thought it would happen. So it's an absolute delight to be back in Walford as Peter B. It's been great to see familiar and new faces, and I can't wait to explore the character again in the wake of Sydney's return. It's an exciting time to return. Peter will t- return to Walford this summer. Are you excited for his return? I mean, I am for sure. <laughs> Definitely excited. Yeah. This is incredible stuff. Um, and if we get more of this, fucking hell, you like... EastEnders usually struggles to gain new fans. Most people who watch EastEnders are old-time EastEnders people, you know. I found, I, I, sorry, I found her from now. Okay. Hold on. Um, let me just continue my point. Uh, and so since it's, it's always hard to find an in for people on EastEnders, but, or, and just in general on soap, but the way that you, the way that you attract new people is you combine some old with some new. You allow old things to like grow older and people get more sentimental. But you also allow new things to start, and this blends the Beals and a strong family unit with the future of the square, which is pretty fucking exciting if you tell me. Um, so, like I said. This will be a lot of the in, because a lot, because some people may watch in the 90s, they knew Cindy, they liked Cindy, but she's gone. And then suddenly the square doesn't look as nice anymore. Nobody really knows what's going on. You've not paid attention. Maybe you go, holy shit, Cindy's back. Time to start watching. So, all right, have you found what you're saying? The thumbnail. Yeah, uh, there you go. All right, it's just a uh, flash or something on the screen for a hot second and then take it off because YouTube will demonetize the things that we can't monetize. Regardless, that has been both myself and Piggy from watching Wolford. Another Bonjour. week that we have covered all of the days. It will be nice to have a bloody break. <laughs> it, will be, it will be nice when we get over tomorrow and we have a well-deserved break on Saturday and Sunday. Because we've actually deserved this break this week. Well, mostly you. All of them is talk size. You've done the we hard work. We have worked hard for the weekend. So I hope you have enjoyed all of the content this week. If you have, make sure to tell us in the comment section down below. Like the videos, subscribe. And just as a whole, we thank you for watching. Uh, and we have been watching Wolford. Catch us next time. Bye-bye. Bye.